what is genetic code genetic code is genetic code is arrangement of specific nucleotides in dna or rna which is responsible for synthesis and arrangement of amino acids during protein synthesis so basically in simple words genetic code is arrangement of nucleotides in dna or rna this decides arrangement of amino acids during protein synthesis and it is universal now why genetic code we are discussing about genetic code we all study about central dogma processes dna replication transcription that is synthesis of mrna and translation that is synthesis of protein to study all these specifically translation or protein synthesis we must have the basic idea about genetic code several scientists tried deciphering genetic code why as i said it's nucleotide sequence in dna or rna in case of mrna which acts as template in protein synthesis so if we know the nucleotide sequence specifically the base sequence then we can decide name of the protein or arrangement of amino acids as well but this process was not very easy deciphering genetic code was very difficult first scientist george gamo who was physics who was a physicist told us about certain things we all know that there are four bases right adenine guanine cytosine and thymine present in dna and in case of rna instead of thymine uracil is present so what is a codon then we must know about codon to know about genetic code what is a codon codon is a specific sequence made up of three bases is specific sequence of three bases three nitrogenous bases in simple words we can say codon is equal to codon is equal to three bases it can be adenine guanine cytosine thymine or uracil any of these three bases is equal to amino acid so one codon is equal to one amino acid which constitute of three bases now george gamo first told us that a codon must be triplet means in a codon three nucleotides must be present so now coming to the salient features or specialities of genetic code first one as i told genetic code 
in genetic code in genetic code codons are triplet so there are 64 codons which code for amino acids why 64 it's 4 into 4 into 4 is equal to 64 4 into 4 16 16 into 4 64 now one speciality is among these 64 codons only 61 codes for amino acids or in turn we can say for protein synthesis now what about the three else codons three codons that is UAA UGA and UAG acts as stop codon means they terminate or stop process of translation means protein synthesis how we will discuss that during translation description of translation now next one number two this code is universal as well as the code is universal what does it mean the code is universal means for all living beings the code is same for example us what to say one codon will code for a specific amino acid in case of all living beings as it given the example from bacteria to human beings triple u codes for phenyl alanin there are some exceptions so let me write it down for example triple u codes for phenyl alanine in all living beings now what is the exception found in codons of mitochondria mitochondrial codons now there is two more terms given that the code is am um, just a moment as you can see the code is unambiguous and specific what does it mean the code is unambiguous and specific it means one codon codes for only one amino acid means for example as i told u triple u u u u uracil three uracils will only code for phenyl alanine they will never code for any other amino acids so that's what is unambiguous and specific now, now coming to the next point that is the code is degenerate what does it mean that one amino acid can be coded by more than one codons one amino acid can be coded by more than one amino more than one sorry more than one codons example let me show you the chart here you can find 
C C U U C U C C U A C U G all code for lives in first two uh, bases are same later it's different U C A G that is the chain so C U U C U C C U A and C U G so that is why it is called the code is D generate now one more point I'll discuss that is AUG has dual functions that is it codes for methionine as well as it's act, it act as initiator codon. So both terminator codon and initiator codon or stop codon or terminator codon these are applicable for translation means protein synthesis. So AUG has dual role it can either act uh, synthesize or it can either code for means when there is AUG it can either initiate the process of protein synthesis or it can add methionine along with this let me discuss about a little about types of RNA so types of RNA basically three types types of RNA basically three types what are these types they are number one messenger RNA or mRNA messenger or mRNA transfer or tRNA and ribosomal or rRNA from the terms only it's easy to understand messenger RNA means it carry mes message how it carries message it acts as acts as template template for protein synthesis or translation what does it mean so the base sequence or nu nucleotide sequence in mRNA is copied to form the amino acids in to form polypeptide chain in protein in case of protein now transfer RNA what it does it basically carries carries information that is carry one anticodon that is just the opposite means if the codon codon is three base sequence as I told in mRNA that is suppose it's UUU then the anticodon will be as we know that uh, it will be or if it's uh, GGG suppose the codon is GGG then the anticodon will be CCC so carries one anticodon at a time during protein synthesis or translation now what is ribosomal or rRNA they are the RNA present in the ribosome obviously from the name only we can understand and they act as the site for site for protein synthesis or translation now coming to the shapes uh, messenger RNA is single stranded and it is linear it can form different structures like hairpin loop transfer or tRNA they are a clover leaf model or they form T like structure that's why also it's called um, transfer RNA and ribosomal or rRNA they form like uh, they uh, punch the way uh, we hold our fingers closed like that we can say 